Hey guys, welcome back to another round of Cyborg Gaming. Today we're going to go into the final level of World 2. And for here, you need 14 Wonder Seeds. Um, you should be able to get that pretty easily um, going through the levels. So now we have access to the Fluff Puff Peaks Palace. Um, overall, this one's not too hard. Uh, a lot of the flower coins are within uh, access when you have the Wonder Flower. So here you can, it's kind of the same at the end of World 1, you got to run into Bowser's Palace. Or I guess uh, it's Bowser Jr. Um, again, when we face him at the end of this level. We should get the uh, bubble power up. So, we'll lose Elephant Mario. So right now we want to take these guys out. Got very close there. Alright, so first one, nice and easy. Now, we gotta get the uh, Wonder Flower. Ah, it's okay, I don't need the coins. Um, get our checkpoint. Should be another power up here. Yep. So here, we want to hit this here. Oop. So go over here, and you're going to want to... Oh, nope, we got to time this to push the Wonder Flower up. There we go. Now we have the Wonder Flower, and we can get hit twice while doing this. So be careful. You know, be smart about when you get hit. Um, especially towards the end, there is kind of like uh, a couple shots that they take at you that it's kind of hard to uh, avoid. So here we go. Ooh. So him here, we want to drag this guy over and into the fire. And now he is gone. So we can work our way here. You can see when I drop, there's actually a good amount of coins that will pop up. Ah, that's okay. So here, get them drawn out, and then stay in between kind of the far left ones. You Here, you can just jump right over. And here, we have our flower coin. And you can just draw this down. And go right up. And it's kind of the same thing on this one. Just go down. Crouch. And now you have all three. Here you can just jump right up and knock those guys right out. And we got the Koopas. So let's hit, let him throw twice. And now let's jump. We got one down. And now we can take the hit here if we wanted to. But it's just best to avoid them. So that's all the flower coins and the wonder seed. So now we go up to the boss. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of the Bowser Jr. boss battles. Uh, they're not terrible. But I do, I do feel like the uh, hitboxes can be kind of off. So let's go in here. You should have to hit him like three or four times again. It's very similar to what we did in World 1. Okay. So let him just kind of jump at you. You can see the platforms kind of moving. Let him get tired. He's going to jump. And now he can just jump right on him. And now he's going to change the environment to like, I think it's ice. He will throw his mask at you as well, so just be careful for that. My bubbles here aren't going to do anything against this guy. Um, he'll just pop them. So let him get kind of tired out. Let him do his jump. And then just jump right on his head. And now we go into kind of a honey world. Uh, where we can kind of get soaked into the honey. Um, this is where I get kind of confused on the hitboxes. As I find them to be very inconsistent. Um... There we go. 
And you should need to get hit, I think, one more time. So, whoop. let's go up here. So, let's see how fast I can do this. Hey, yeah, he will start uh, spawning Goombas. There we go. See, and that's it. He wasn't, like, in the ground or anything like that. I just had to jump on him. Um, but that's the end of this one. We're going to have a little bit of a kind of cutscene area. And then we're going to go back to the Petal Isles, um, which is going to connect us to World 3, where we're going to have some more challenges and things like that. But I'll let you enjoy just the little cutscene and how we're going to use this royal seed. So, our next area is going to pop right up. So, now that we finished World 2, um, I'm going to go through also and just double check that I have everything completed. Actually, let me go to the shop really quick. Ah, it's not going to let me. So, we're going down to the Petal Isles. And we're going to use our royal seed. So you can see another piranha plant is being destroyed. It's going to start giving us easier access to get up to the level. And take on Bowser. But obviously we have to go through, I think it's like the six worlds. So that's where we want to get to, but first we need to pass through here. So I'll dive into like the dolphin kick and uh, Wiggler's race and swimming um, here soon. But for now, that is the end of World 2. I'm going to go double check that I got everything in the Poplin shop. Let me go over here. I think I might have missed one of the badges. Oh. Yeah, I want to get this boost badge right here. Yeah, might as well get some more here. And get some standees. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. So I'm going to go until I get about 40 to 45. Getting a little unlucky here. Nice. Alright, I'll get a couple more. And obviously this is going to get harder as we go along. You can see I'm getting the same Luigi over and over again. Okay. Nope. Nothing new. Nice. Okay. Right, let's see if we can get one more new one. There we go.
All right, and so I'm going to go teleport over back to the Petal Isles and start working on the new challenges and trying to work my way to level three. Um, but that is the end of World 2. Um, I hope you guys found that video helpful. Catch you on the next one.